Hello and welcome to SD Motion and together we will carry on with the tutorial on how to calculate hours worked after a night shift. There is a specific formula to calculate the total hours worked past midnight in Excel, but after watching this video, it will be easier for you. Let's get started. In general, we know how to calculate hours worked if the start work and end work times are within the same day. We also know how to calculate working time for each day, from Monday to Friday. The problem is that this usual way of calculating hours will not work for you, if the working time spans midnight, which is the case of Friday. On Friday, work started at 8 o'clock in the evening and finished the next day, at 4 o'clock in the morning. Since the working time spanned midnight, which means the employer did not finish work on the same day. We need to use the if function to calculate the hours correctly. Let's do this together. First, we need to remove the misfired attempt and, as usual, we type the equal sign in the cell that is supposed to show the result. Now select the function if by typing the first letter, I, and press tab key to bring the function to the cell. As you can see, for the function to work we need to enter the logical test first. Then we tell Excel what value to work with if the condition we entered is true, and right after that we need the value Excel should consider if the result of the logical test is false. In this tutorial, I will guide you step by step through how to work with the if function in case you need to calculate time. So, as for the beginning, we need to enter the logical test or condition based on which Excel will decide what value to use in calculation. After the if word, we will start typing out the condition itself the start work time which the value in cell C7 is greater than the end work time which is the value in cell D7. Which is true for the working time that spans midnight. Type in the comma and we will move on. Now we need to indicate what value Excel should work with if the condition we entered is true. After that, we will also define the value for the situation in which the condition is false. So, if the condition is true, we will tell Excel that the work was finished the next day. We will do so by clicking on the cell with the end work time data and we will add plus 1 which means that this time belongs to the next day. Enter a comma again. Now we can type in the value Excel will use if the condition we entered at the beginning is false. If it is false, we will let Excel know that the end work time is in the same day. This is done by clicking on cell D7. Excel will then treat the time data from cell D7 as it appears, as it was entered. This specific condition is false for example for the Thursday entry, because the end work time is not greater than the start work time. The formula we are now entering will be valid for all cases hours worked on the same day as well as working time that spans midnight. We can do a quick test to check that together at the end of the tutorial. For now, we'll carry on creating the formula. Close the brackets. Excel will now work as follows. If the value in C7 is greater than the value in D7, the value in D7 is from the next day. If this is not true, the value in D7 is from the same day and Excel will use this value as it is. Now just subtract the start work time by using the minus sign, click on cell C7 and press enter. This is it. You can see that now the calculated time 8 hours is accurate. And because you should be able to use the formula for the cases of hours worked past midnight but also hours worked within the same day. Here is to check whether it works. The formula in cell E7 can be copied through dragging the bottom right corner of the cell up through all weekdays. As you can see, the formula is in all the cells and the times calculated previously did not change. This means the formula works even in cases where the hours worked did not span midnight. Next, I will use the sum function to calculate the total hours worked in a week. In cell E8. Type equal sum, then select the ranges from E3 to E7, then close the bracket and hit enter. As you can see now the Excel has retuned 19 hours and 33 minutes. Which is not what we have expected. This is because the time format for total worked hours we have used in 24 hours. To display more than 24 hours, select cell E8, then right click to open the format cells option. In the format cell box, choose custom in the category list. In the type box, at the top of the list of format, type the format as shown.
Then click OK. Now the Excel has returned 43 hours and 55 seconds, which is the exact working hours we have expected. Ok, we have done it for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you have found this video helpful, like us and subscribe to receive more videos from SD Motion. Watch more videos that help you use Excel quick and easy. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.